this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn about Photoshop keyboard shortcuts and um, there, there are quite a lot of already built-in uh, Photoshop um, shortcuts that come in with, with the program and uh, you probably already know quite a few of them if you've mouse over a few of your tools for example you see that the move tool the, the shortcut is V so if you press V it'll go to that tool like so and there's all these other like the, the brush is uh, an intuitive B for brush and so forth so there's quite a lot of things that come in uh, already built in with Photoshop and also a few of the menus and things like that so for example if you go to the filter here you have the extract filter the last filter you use this control F there's a lot of built-in uh, shortcuts for you to go to image size and canvas size and so forth and one of the things that um, I like to do is use a lot and you probably see this as uh, you see more and more tutorials is let me just expand here my uh, my uh, tools here my palette and I use a lot of the layers palette right because I use usually quite a few layers but I also use my history uh, tab as well and it's not visible right here right now but if we bring up window and go to history what I like to do is, right now we're sort of running out of space. Usually you kind of have this problem with Photoshop. That you're usually kind of running out of space, so you have to sort of optimize what it is that you want to do. And the way that I like to work, and you'll see this a lot in, in the tutorials, is I like to bring my history um, tab down here to the bottom um, next to the layers. So I have layers on one side and history on the other. So let me just close here our actions. And you can see basically what it is that I like to work with, which is going from layers. And if I need to do multiple undos or something, just go back into the history where I can look to see what it is that I've done and do some editing. Now, I like to switch between these things. And I also like to keep my uh, dock here uh, uh, not expanded. So I like to just be able to click on my layers uh, right here and then go to my history if I need to. Now, instead of having to go here and click on this stuff, I like to actually have a keyboard shortcut. But I like to have a keyboard shortcut that is an F1, right? Pressing F1 uh, on my keyboard is quite easy. I don't actually need to be even looking at my keyboard. I can just feel the F1 key right there. I can press that and it'll bring it up my layers. And I can press F2 for my history. So I can just be very quickly just switching between layers and history. Now, of course, if you try pressing F1 and F2, you'll see that it doesn't actually happen that way. And it doesn't because Photoshop doesn't come built in with this option, but you do have the option of customizing everything there is in Photoshop. So we can go into our edit menu here and if we click on show all menu items if you have that there if you scroll down to the bottom you'll have the keyboard shortcuts so we're editing the keyboard shortcuts so once we click on that you can see that there are shortcuts for everything there's for the application menus for the palette menus and the tools and so forth what you want to do is go into application menus and uh, scroll down here to the window because basically we're going to be changing the uh, shortcuts here of the window to be able to bring up the layers and the history. Now as you can see that the layers has a shortcut of F7 and the history has no shortcut. I want to actually change this. I want layers to be F1 and history to be F2. So the way, we, the way that we do this is we, you know, like I said, application menus, go down to the window and then scroll down to the bottom. It's largely in the same way that it is here. So you see that layers is somewhere r roughly in the center of this. So here we are with the layers. And what we want to do is just click here and then press F1, like so. Now it's telling me that it's already in use for the edit, uh, undo, and redo commands. Now I can always just press uh, Control and Z to do my undos, so that doesn't bother me too much. So what I can do is I can just accept and go to Conflict, which will then allow me to set this one as F1, go to the undo, redo command, and enter something else. Or I can just click on Accept, and the undo redo menu will be without a shortcut now, which is fine. I never really use that. I just use Control Z a lot. And like I said, if I want to go back into you know my several undos, what I actually like going is into my history ballot. So what I want to do here is set an, a shortcut for F2. And again, it's telling me that the edit cut command is set to F2. Now, if that's important to you, again, I don't really use this all this much. I use other shortcuts to get uh, sort of an effect of, of, of a cut. Um, you, you'll see these things as uh, you see more and more tutorials, but basically you can, you know, like I said, accept and go to conflict, or you can just go to accept, which is what I'm going to do. So once you click OK, the best part of this is once you set this up, 
and you save your workspace. You can go to Window, Workspace, and then you can save your workspace. Save all your keyboard shortcuts, and then if anything ever changes in Photoshop, if you load another workspace or whatever, you can always go back in, and by pressing F1, we load up our layers. Pressing F2, we go to our history. So it's very quick to just switch between the two, and you got a really quick way to work with Photoshop. So this is the, just, uh, like I said, it's the keyboard shortcuts for Photoshop. They're completely editable, and these are the two of my favorite things to actually change within Photoshop. Helps me work quicker, F1 and F2. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website, and we'll create even more videos that interest you.